Number 14. Assuming that no equilibria other than dissolution are involved, calculate the molar solubility of each of the following from its solubility product. And then we have silver iodide. So we have to find out the molar solubility of AGI from its solubility product. Keep in mind that solubility product is just KSP, right? SP, solubility product. So I went in the back of the textbook to find out what the solubility product of AGI is. It's a 1.5 times 10 to the negative six. Now, what is a KSP value without a balanced equation? It's nothing. So I have to write the balanced equation for AGI. Now just know that KSP, these compounds are going to start as solids and dissociate into their ions. So the AGI is going to start as a solid. So AGI, solid will break down and come to equilibrium because we're dealing with the K value of the two ions. And the split is going to be right between the silver and the iodine, right? So AG plus I, we need to know the charges in the upper right hand corner, but this one's pretty easy, right? Because it's just a one to one. So, uh, you know, AG would be a plus one and iodine would be a negative one. And AG is always a plus one charge. An iodine in a uh, ionic compound is going to be the negative one. It's in group 17. So we have aqueous and aqueous because we see charges. Let's just make sure that this equation is balanced. But it is, right? There's one Ag, one Ag, and then one iodine, one iodine. So I'm just going to bring this over, over here. But we're going to use this to make our KSP equation. The general KSP equation is this right here. Right, it's just equal to the concentration of the products raised to their coefficients. No reactants allowed because they're always going to be solids for KSP. So KSP equals the concentration of the Ag plus times by the I minus. And just always check, we should raise it to the coefficients. But for both of these, there was no coefficient in the front, which just meant that you had one of each. So you can raise both of these to the first power, but anything raised to the first power is itself. So we know what the KSP value is. It's the 1.5 times 10 to the negative 16th, but I don't know what the concentration of AG plus and I minus are. That's where I'm going to be using um, the variable, right? So I go back to the balanced equation and I say, okay, I don't know how much AG plus I have. So I'm just going to label it as X, right? That's the amount at equilibrium, and it just has to match the coefficient. But technically, since this is 1, 1 times x is just x, so I'll just leave it as x. And since it's the same number, i minus would also be x. So we're going to use these two values to plug in for our uh, values over here. So ag plus would be an x value, and i minus would be an x value. Okay, let's start the math. 1.5. 1.5 times 10 to the negative 16th equals these two together, right? X times X. X times X, I have two X's. So I could just say that this is the same as just X squared. And then the inverse of squaring is taking the square root. So this one's actually pretty easy. Whew, thank goodness. So X equals, let's see. Square root of 1.5 times 10 to the negative 16th. And I guess two sig figs. So 1.2 times 10 to the negative eighth. That's in molarity. That's what the brackets mean, concentration, molarity. And just know that we want to calculate the molar solubility, which always comes from the initial solid. So we want to find out what that initial solid of the AGI is. So just take it as a ratio. Remember, the solid is always going to have a one in the front of it, right? So you could treat this as like a one X value. So the X value that you get is always going to be the, uh, the um, molar solubility if you're working it this way. So it'd be 1.2 times 10 to the negative eighth molarity of AGI. And that is the final answer. This one was pretty simple. Okay. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. 
I hope you all are having a great day out there. Keep studying hard. I believe in you guys. Good luck on your future tests. And I will talk to you in later lessons. Okay, bye.